magic conch. It's another school day. In the library of Pine Tree Kindergarten, the kids are reading books. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I made my own house! <laughs> Guys! Mm -hmm. Here, I've got a magic thing! Mm -hmm. ah. huh? Magic? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let me have a look. Wow! Ooh, it's, it's so beautiful. pretty! Oh, what is this? Huh? Father said it's called a conch. He brought it to me. It's full of magic. It's just a really good looking shell. I don't feel any magic. Put it to your ear and you'll see. You'll hear a beautiful sound. Huh? Huh? Wait, what sound? Oh, let me try. Here. Huh? Ah. <laughs> huh? I really can hear a sound. Huh? Some rumbling noise. I want to hear it, too. Oh, but I didn't oh, finish yet. Come on, Tiki. I know, you just have to wait. Take it easy, oh, guys. Oh, oh, oh. Tiki, hand me the conch. Fine. Thank you, Tiki. Now queue up, one by one. Come on, I want to hear it again. Hurry up already. Hey. Huh? Wow, I can hear it, too. Briar, hurry. Here, oh. Babu. Oh. Prince Tiki is white. I can hear Babu. him. Babu, oh, come huh? on. It's my turn now. Here you go. Wow, I'm about to hear the sound. Hmm? Huh? Guys, huh? I heard huh? it too. It sounds kind of like this. <laughs> or, or this. Huh? It's, it's magic. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Graham, what are you trying to say? <laughs> well, I wonder huh? what's making the sound. <laughs> hey, mind your manners. It's my turn now. Oh, no, it's still my turn. <laughs> Give it to me. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Briar, what do you think the sound is? To me, it's like someone whispering in it. Huh? I can feel clouds floating in the sky <laughs> and birds flapping wings nearby. No, it's not. It's the sound of raindrops. Huh. Yeah, that's right. It sounds like rain. But what I heard is the sound of gobbling. Huh? Uh Bramble, no way. It's definitely whispering. It's the sound of gobbling. It's the sound of rain. Yeah. But I did hear someone whisper. No, it's oh, the sound right. of it's gobbling. Raining. It is Cut it out, guys. <laughs> I think it's the sound of the ocean. What's an ocean? Oh. Wait. <laughs> the ocean is full of salt water. It's big and blue. Look at my picture. Oh, there are all sorts of different kinds of animals, and they swim all around the ocean. Wow. wow. My father said that the largest animal in the world lives there, the blue whale. They can shoot water from their blowholes up to the sky. That sounds so awesome. Wait, are you talking about whales? Prince Tiki, do you know how big they are? Yeah, of course I know. Oh. They're even bigger than Coach Mac. Yeah. Violet, could you tell us more about it? I've never seen it. Well, I, uh... Hold on, there's pictures over there. I'll go look for some. I remember it's... Here! Huh? Someone took it. Hey! <laughs> I found it! I found it! Huh? I'm up. What time is This is Mr. Whale. Isn't he big? Oh, and look! The conch, it's right here. It's the huh? same one Violet has. Huh? Yeah. It sure is. Mr. Whale must love this conch very much. Huh? He must listen to the sound every day and then expel water, all because he's so happy. Wow! Is it true, Tiki? Yeah, it is. The water expelled by Mr. Whale rushes Mr. O'Hare's boat up into the sky. It's like it's raining under the bottom of the boat. Do you know what happens next? Tell us, tell us! <laughs> Look! This here is their flying boat! Huh? 
It flies here and there, and it approaches a cloud. Whoosh, whoosh. Then it keeps flying, and it whirls around stars. Oh, wow. Sounds amazing. <laughs> Mr. O'Hare, he meets the sun and then the moon. Hello, moon. <laughs> <laughs> Good story. Amazing. Huh? Briar, uh, please give it to me. And then the bow goes down to the ocean. Mr. Whale jumps up really high. And he gives the conch to Mr. O'Hare as a gift. He shakes his tail and he says goodbye. <laughs> oh, good storytellers. <laughs> From your story, I saw the ocean and Mr. Whale himself. I'm sure. What I heard in the conch was the stars whispering. Maybe the sun and the moon joined them too. No, that's not right. The sound must be Mr. Whale expelling water. It's all surging. Pinky's right, it's surging. No, uh it's the sound of Mr. Whale eating his food. <laughs> it's whispers. No, it's surging. It's whispers. It's him eating. No, no, no. It's surging. No, it's eating. It's whispers. It's surging. It's whispers. It's eating. It's surging. No, it's whispers. It's always right. No, no, nothing. I say it's whispers. Surging. I know it's him eating. It's surging. Whispers. It's eating. It's surging. Just <laughs> <Dustin, laughs> laugh. <laughs> You're all wrong. It's called an echo. Uh, an echo? echo? What, what is, is that? that? Uh, let me see. It's, uh... Ah. Huh? I read it in a book. Sound moves just like this ball. Once you throw it up against the wall, it bounces back to you. I'll show you. <laughs> now do you see? Uh, I don't get it. Yeah, me either. Huh? Hmm. Look, it's right here in this book. See? When sound approaches the conch, it will be reflected back to you. So what you hear in the conch is a reflection of sound. That's called an echo. A reflection of sound? Uh, let me think. Ah, I got it. Briar, cover one of your ears, then put this conch to the other one. I'll say something outside the library. Let's see if you can hear me. Ah, I can hear it. Oh, I heard it. Huh? Let me check it out. Bananas! Bananas! Huh? I can hear Vic. I can really hear him. Huh? <laughs> it's my turn. Honey! Oh, it's true, Baboo. Here. Baboo! Huh? My name! And I have a try? Here. Carrot! Huh? Listen, guys. What is this sound? It's squeaking. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> did you guys hear me? Yeah, we did. We could hear just like Vic said. Come on, guys. Outside. Here we are, guys. The whole world can be echoed. The way our voices get reflected in the conch, the sound of the wind blowing. And the bird chirping can be reflected as well. Even the sounds of the cicadas buzzing causes an echo. All kinds of sound mixing together in the conch makes it sound like an ocean, but really it's an echo. You understand? How about... we give it another listen? Oh, I hear it! What a magical thing! <laughs> Violet, can I listen? Mm-hmm. Oh, now I get it. Wow, Vic is cool. <laughs> I want to try. <laughs> huh? I hear the sound of my tummy growling. <laughs> Violet, can I listen to it again? Oh, yeah, me too. <laughs> me too. Me too. Uh -huh. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, everyone. If you haven't listened to a conch shell before, you should check it out. And don't forget, kids, it's called an echo. 
You can go tell your parents about it. Okay, see you next time. Bye-bye. The magic words. It's that time again to check in on the cubs of Pine Tree Kindergarten. Duck, duck, goose. Duck, duck, goose. If you have any ducks, you better run. Take it the goose. Run, run, run. Ramble, I'm gonna get ya! <laughs> you can't catch me! <laughs> Hi! Violet, why are you dressed up so strange? This is called a helmet. These are elbow pads. And these are my knee pads. I wear this gear for protection when I do sport. Wow! wow. What's that strange popsicle stick in your hand? Huh? <laughs> this, it's a skateboard. Skateboard? What's it for? Let me show you guys. Just sit back and prepare to be amazing. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I can't wait. Okay. Wow! wow. <laughs> Violet, watch out! I would like to learn how to do that. It's like having a pair of wings! Wow, she can fly! She looks so cool! Violet, this skateboard looks so fun! Can you please teach us? I want to learn, too. Oh, me, too, me, <laughs> yeah, too. Me, too, me, too. All right. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs> but first you will need a helmet, elbow pads, and knee pads. Okay? Okay. Yeah. Guys, please watch me. Lean your body forward slightly. Bend your knees. And then stretch your arms and try to keep your balance. Skate forward slowly. Now you guys try it. <laughs> this is gonna be easy. How's that? Bye bye. Better catch up, Vic. Bramble all over here. <laughs> 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 Yes, let's. I'm huh? Where's Bramble? Briar. Bram, what are you doing? Oh, I'm scared. Here, let me help you. Okay. Bend your knees. Lean forward. Keep standing straight. Stretch out your arms for even better balance. Good. Keep it up. You're doing fine. Bramble, you should try it on your own. Bramble. <laughs> Uh, huh? Briar, Bramble! <laughs> Bramble? What's going on? Skateboarding is so hard. My tushy hurts. We'll show you how to do it. Yeah, let's show Bramble how to do it. Yeah! yeah. Lean forward. Bend your knees. Stretch out your arms. And then slowly skate forward. Slowly skate forward. <laughs> huh? Go ahead! Yeah, go ahead! Yeah. 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 Those days in your eyes. 
Do you want to hear a secret my father told me? <laughs> if you keep crying, I won't tell you the secret. Uh, what secret? Actually, I was really scared like you when I first learned to skateboard. Uh -huh. Then my father told me some magic words to help. The magic words will give you courage if you say them while you're skateboarding. Are there really magic words? Of course! Ah, Violet, could you please tell me the magic words? Pretty, please. Listen carefully. Polo, polo, wa la la. Polo, polo, wa la la. Yeah, I know the magic words. <laughs> Thank you, Violet. Polo, polo, wa la la. Polo, polo, wa la la. Mm, don't be afraid. The magic words will give me courage. <sighs> polo, polo, wa la la. Polo, polo, wa la la. <laughs> Polo, polo, wa la la. 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 This is great. Boybo can skateboard too. Guys, how about a skateboard game tomorrow? I'll ask Father to come and be the judge. What do you think? Uh, yeah! Okay! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bram, we need to go home. I want to practice a little longer. Briar, hurry up! We don't want to be late for the contest. I'm coming. <laughs> With the help of the magic words, I'm sure to win the contest. <laughs> uh... Mm -hmm. Oh no! <laughs> Bramble, is everything okay? Oh no, oh no! Huh? I forgot the magic words! I only remember it was po something. La la. Briar, you gotta help me remember it, or I won't be able to skateboard! Don't worry, Bram. I'll help you remember it. Mm -hmm. Po something. Is it polar? Mm -mm. Polly? Mm -mm. Maybe it's. Mm, Lapo? Huh? Yeah, it's huh? Lapo. You're awesome. Help me figure out the last part, please. It's something Lala. Mm, Lala. Is it Ulala? Uh, mm -mm. Mm. Who Lala? Mm -mm. Mm. Sha-la-la! -la. The magic words are lopo lopo sha la, -la. <laughs> Let's go, Briar! Yeah! Lopo lopo sha la, -la. Yeah! On your marks. Is everyone set? Huh? Lopo lopo sha la, -la. Huh? Huh? What's that? And go! <laughs> <laughs> Bramble? Huh? Violet is catching up! Whoa! Lapo, lapo, sha la la! Bramble! 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 Huh? Yeah! I won! <laughs> yeah! Woo! <laughs> Magic words wrong. Huh? What do you mean? Really? Then why did I still win? I don't know. Good day, children. Huh? How goes it? Papa, I told Bramble the magic words you taught me. He got it wrong just now. But how could he still skateboard? Mr. O'Hare, what's going on? Oh, I see. Actually, Bramble did not say the words wrong. I he didn't. didn't. Righto. Remember, no matter what the words are, as long as it brings you courage, it's magical. I understand. Words don't matter. What's important is having courage, being brave. Mm -hmm. Bramble, we'll be brave from now on. Yeah. <sighs> Wow, you guys are fast. Because we're brave. Hi there, friends. 
It doesn't matter what your magic words are. The important thing is to believe in yourself and be brave, because the magic is inside you always. Bye-bye! Metamorphosis! It's another sunny day at Pine Tree Kindergarten, and class is about to begin. I'm coming! Rambo, here we are! Come get us! <laughs> I can't see! I can't see anything! Huh? <laughs> Rambo, nice trick! I know what you're up to! And I won't fall for it! Let's That's roll. right! You trickster! Uh, it's not a trick! Huh? <laughs> huh? I can see! Ah, caterpillar! <laughs> Say what? A caterpillar? Where? Rambo! He's on your head! Huh? <laughs> Someone oh, help me get him! <laughs> Someone huh? help! Bravo. Please fight me! Bravo? What's wrong? <laughs> Ew, gross. He's touching it. <laughs> You guys are a bunch of chickens. I heard that when he grows up, he'll become a butterfly. Hmm. Vic, you're lying. That's not true. <laughs> it's not true. <laughs> hey, Vic. Is he really going to turn into a butterfly? Well, I'm not sure. You see, I saw it on TV, so it must be true. Why do you ask? Mm -hmm. Wow. Hey, Vic. Thank you for bringing me the caterpillar. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, little one. Please grow up fast. I want to see you be a butterfly. Bramble, why are you afraid of caterpillars? Mm. Here, look. Mm. <laughs> He's not scary at all. Here, Bram, you try. Uh, I don't want to. <laughs> Stop it. Okay, fine. <laughs> Ramble, what's wrong? Oh, well, I am. Um... He's not very scary. I'm not scared anymore. <laughs> you see? What I tell you? You're not so scary. <laughs> Listen, make sure to wash your hands after. Mm. Wow, it's such a sunny day. <laughs> Little one, it's breakfast time. <laughs> I think you need some sun. You really eat a lot. I'll get you some more. <laughs> no, he didn't. The TV show said before becoming a butterfly, his skin will fall off. Look, he's losing some of his skin. Hmm? Oh, <laughs> yeah! Soon he'll become a butterfly. <laughs> Check this out. I'm going to score. Ha! Hey! Uh, look out, Bram! He's Ooh. really off in his own world. That was too close. <laughs> Hello there, little one. You will be so beautiful when you grow up. Vic! Huh? Bramble, what is it? Quick look, he's gone missing. Huh? And I found this weird green stuff. Oh, man, that's really strange. I don't think the TV show mentioned this. <laughs> Bramble, we should go ask Miss Olivia. Miss Olivia, where is the caterpillar gone? Hmm. This is the caterpillar. 
Children, don't worry. It has become a pupa. It's one of the stages of a butterfly's life cycle. Pupa? What is that, though? The caterpillar changes all of its tissues, limbs, and organs in the pupa, which is also known as a chrysalis. <laughs> So he's changing I now. think he must be a bit shy. That's right. This process of change is known as the butterfly's metamorphosis. Metamorphosis? I get it. When the caterpillar comes out of the pupa, it becomes a butterfly. Fly, fly, fly. Really? <laughs> really. So now we need to wait patiently. Mm. Butterfly, take your time. I'll be here waiting for you. You guys go first! Butterfly, hey, are you ready now? I have to go home now. Good night. Bye! Bramble. Bramble. I'm here. Bramble, come on! Uh. children. The butterfly needs to do it himself. This way, he can ensure that he's strong enough to fly. You see? Just like me. Now I understand. Huh? He did it! He's coming out! Huh? He's going to fly! Huh? Huh? Uh, Novik! He'll do it himself. Hmm. I know he can do it. Isn't that right? That's right, Bramble. But now, the butterfly cannot fly yet. His wings are too damp. We need to be patient, boys. Then, when his wings dry, they'll become hard, and he'll be able to fly. We can blow on him. Then he'll be all dry. Oh. <gasps> <gasps> oh. Be gentle, kids. You don't want to spit. Maybe we can just make some breeze. Gently. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fly! Fly! He's flying! You can do it! That's it! Come on, you're doing so great! Come on, that's it! Come on! So are you still afraid of Caterpillar? <laughs> the Caterpillar transformed into a butterfly. And Bramble became a brave boy. <laughs> huh? Hey! <laughs> Slow down! Butterfly! <laughs> <laughs> Stay here and play with us! <laughs> Get back here! <laughs> huh? Wow! There are so many butterflies! That means he'll have lots of friends! Bye-bye! Have fun, butterfly! See ya! Bye-bye! Hi, 
Hi there, friends. Isn't it cool, guys, that all caterpillars turn into butterflies? How magical is that? Don't forget to tell all of your friends. See you next time. Bye-bye. Fragrant spring flowers. A gentle breeze blows through the forest. The sun shines brightly and the flowers are in full bloom. Be quick! Bravo! Tiki! Bravo! Bravo! Go! Yes, Queen Tiki! <laughs> That's not fair. You're way heavier than me. <laughs> Babu, Babu, come help me. Coming with Tiki. <laughs> Two versus one? Then my brother can help too. Bravo! Bravo! Oh, there you are. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go! Come back! Come back! <laughs> wow! What a pretty flower! <laughs> oh no! My flower! <laughs> You're safe now! So sweet! Grandpa! Brambo, what are you doing here? We've been looking for you. <laughs> Look! Wow! wow. So, so beautiful! So beautiful. Yeah. It's so pretty! Where did you find this pretty little thing, huh? I traded you some bananas for it. What do you say? Oh. Bro, I can trade with honey. Uh, huh? No way! This is mine! Huh? Why on earth wouldn't oh. you want to trade? It's a great decoration for my room. Decoration! Uh, uh, we can put it in the classroom. If our classroom is full of flowers, <laughs> it'll be so pretty. We can put flowers everywhere. And then the classroom will look great. And Miss Olivia will be really happy. Huh? <laughs> that sounds awesome. It's so interesting. Let's split up and look. We'll see who picks the most beautiful flowers. Huh? Okay, yeah, great. Wow. <laughs> so pretty. Yeah, let's go! <laughs> <laughs> Look at this! <laughs> uh, what's this flower? <laughs> it's flying! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Morning there, Miss Olivia! Good morning, old Billy. Where did these flowers come from? What's this? Oh? Miss Olivia, Miss Olivia! I got so yeah. many beautiful flowers! <laughs> I've got a beautiful flower! Check it out! Fine. Look at mine! Children, you picked all these flowers? Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. oh, you really picked a lot! <laughs> <laughs> Miss Olivia, here! Uh, you can have the most beautiful one! From me, Prince Tiki! Oh, so Look here! Well, Check out mine! Oh, there, there. There's Smell no my rush. flower! <laughs> you <laughs> save it, Briar! <laughs> Miss Olivia! <sighs> I picked the golden flower as shiny as my royal crown. But no smell, so mine is way better. <laughs> I don't even care. <sighs> Miss Olivia! Oh. <gasps> Ramble! <laughs> Look at what I made! <laughs> oh my, Bramble. Be careful now. <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> Miss Olivia, look! Huh? Bramble, where'd you find those? Huh? Just over there, by that big tall tree. You know the one 
with all the colorful flowers on it? Good job, Bram. Huh? I'll mark the tree next time so I can find it too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <sighs> it's time to give a special class to my students. Good morning. Students, today we will have a special lesson. First of all, let's play a game, okay? Yeah! 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 Here you are. Uh, this hat is for you. Ah, oh, so handsome. <laughs> Briar, this one's yours. Thank you, Miss Olivia. <laughs> oh boy, now it's my turn. Gimme! Ah. Children, you are going to play the role that is painted on your hat. Bramble plays a flower, Briar plays grass, and I will play the sun. Who would like to be the flower, grass, and the butterfly? One at a time. This is yours, and this is yours. And you are the flower, and you are the dew. You always want to be dew. Miss Olivia, mm -hmm. huh? why does everyone have a hat except for me? That's Tinky. not fair. Don't uh -huh. cry. In this game, you're going to play the role of a child. Okay. Rise and shine. It's time to get up. Wake up, little flower. And grass. Clap your hands and wash your face. Breathe and smile. It's a brand new day. Oh, he fell asleep. Little flower, say hello to everyone. Hi there, Grass. Hello, little flower. Good morning, Good morning, dear. little flower. Good morning, Grass. Oh, hi there, little Grass. Yeah. Hi, little flower. Children, the wind is up. I'm, I'm not afraid. afraid. The rain is falling. I'm, I'm not, not afraid. afraid. Brave flowers and grass withstand the wind and rain and grow up. My dear students, let's begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> Look, the butterfly comes to see you. Oh, the flower smells so good. <laughs> hey, come sniff me. <laughs> oh, you smell just as sweet. I love this landscape. Then, uh -huh. a child comes over. <laughs> Hi there! <laughs> huh? This child, he wants to pick some flowers to decorate huh? his classroom. Uh -huh. huh? ah, which one should I choose? Ah, you there! You? No, don't pick a bully! No! <laughs> Tiki uproots the Warren flower, huh? destroying yeah. the soil. As a result, the environment is damaged. Then, Herbie Grass, he withers away. <laughs> Fine, I'll take you. Don't pick me. <laughs> you had Warren Flower. Why are you gonna pick other flowers? One's not enough. The more flowers, the more beautiful the classroom will be. But haven't you thought about the forest? The forest won't be beautiful without flowers. Exactly. exactly. No stop. Children. Uh -huh. Flowers and grass all belong uh -huh. to the forest. They also have life. They try their best to grow up and make the forest lush and vibrant. But if you pick them, then all their efforts will be wasted uh -huh. and the forest will not be beautiful. It will fall ill and wither. Understand? Oh, oh yes. yes. Huh? <laughs> Here I have some flower seeds. Huh? Let's sow these seeds and plant more flowers. We can do this together, okay? Okay! Plant the flowers, plant the grass. Dig a hole and make it last. Water more and fertilize. Everybody, 
take good care of them and do not pick them. See you next time. Bye-bye. Little teachers. It's another sunny day at Pine Tree Kindergarten. What will the kids get up to today? Good morning, children. Good morning! Good morning. Students, do you remember what day it is today? What day is it? Miss Olivia, huh? I know! I know, I know. Today is Little Teacher's Day. That is right. Today is Little Teacher's Day. You can take turns at being the teacher and teach your classmates some interesting new things. Oh, yeah! No, I forgot what today was. Huh? Hmm. Huh? Hey, I'll read them a story. Who wants to be the first teacher for today? Teacher, me. pick me! Pick me! Briar, how about you? <laughs> I'll be the first. Today's classes will all be taught by you. You may begin. Yeah! <clears throat> Classmates, I'll teach you how to choose the most delicious apples. Apples? Firstly, apples which are most delicious should be big and round. They must be red like this and have a little shine. And it's best if there are some little stripes on it. Look here. You can see the stripey stripes. Ah, let me check. And then you give the apple a sniff. The freshest, most delicious apples will have a sweet smell. Bramble? Huh? Bramble! <laughs> Briar, your apples lesson has made me really hungry. <laughs> <laughs> this class will be taught by me, classmates. Do you know what this is? Eh? Hmm, that's just a little pebble. That's right, but guys, have you ever seen a colorful one? Ta-da! Oh, that is cool. Huh. I bet they're not even real. You probably just painted them. Wow, this is super huh? cool. I <laughs> thought you'd like them. Ramble's class is really interesting. Yeah. <laughs> hey, it's my turn now. How about I teach you how to dance? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Non-princess, watch me carefully. Wave your left arm. Wave your left arm. arm. Bramble, that's your right arm. This one's the left. <laughs> and now wave your right arm. <laughs> and now we're gonna wiggle our bottoms and spin. Okay? One, two, three. <laughs> Wait a minute. I feel a little dizzy. Ugh, class is over. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, children. Ready? We're ready, teacher. In today's class, I will tell you my favorite story. This story what? is called A Tadpole Finds Its Mommy. Ahem. Spring has just arrived, and um, then what happens? Um, well, then the ice. It's easy, uh, Nick. Just skip the hard words, then it'll be okay. The mommy wakes up after her long winter's nap. And, uh, wait, no. Uh, first, she is on. Hang on. Wait, but what happened to the ice? And whose mommy wakes up? Uh, maybe it's the. the, uh, the frog mommy. <laughs> frog mommy jumps, uh, jumps out of the water, uh, and jumps into. Uh. onto the. Uh, she gives birds a lots of little round black things. <laughs> That's the end. You hope you like the story. What? That's the end. Hmm. Mm. But I didn't really understand it. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. But Vic explained everything pretty clear. No, he didn't. I couldn't understand either. It made no sense to me. I have an idea. I could teach you guys something else. But uh, what could I teach you? I know. Huh? You could teach us something about the world of human beings. Huh? That's a great idea. In the human world, there are lots of houses and big, long, wide roads. This is where the cars go, and they huh? ride really fast. Huh? And in the sky, there are planes. They can fly. Hmm. Wow! Yeah. That plane is big. Sure is. They're ginormous. I don't buy huh? it. The plane is huge. How can it be thrown into the sky? That's simple. A superhero must throw it. No, no, no. Planes have big engines. You don't throw them. 
Well then, how does it get up there? Well, we gonna see. Teacher Vic, I know. I know the answer. I think that the plane is a bit like Hoo Hoo, all covered in feathers. And then it has two big wings, and that's why it can fly. That's not right. I know how it works. It's giants who throw the planes up into the sky. Watch, I'll show you. I think the planes must have blades on top like this, and so that's why they can fly. <laughs> ah, it didn't fall. And so, am I right or what? No way, no way. It's giants who throw it. <laughs> hey, guys. Huh? I still think that the planes are kind of like birds. No, it's the giants. No way, it's the blades. They are birds. It's the giants. It's the blades. They are birds. Giants. It's the blades. No, they are giants. it's the blades. Oh, stop it, guys. Uh -huh. Why don't we just ask our teacher for the right answer? <laughs> yeah, I don't know the answer either. Well, uh... Mm. Mm. Okay, the answer is... Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> no idea. Uh -huh. <sighs> <sighs> hmm? Vic. Mm. Vic, huh? you seem unhappy. Miss Olivia. Being a teacher is really, really hard. <laughs> why don't you tell me why it's hard being a teacher? Hmm. At first, I wanted to tell a story. But there were lots of big words. It was confusing. And then they were asking me all sorts of questions. Hmm. I didn't even know how to answer them. <laughs> But why did you use a storybook that you are not familiar with? I forgot today was Little Teacher's Day, so it was all I had. Vic, did you know that before each and every class, your teachers spend time to prepare? Oh, really? Hmm, I've got it. Thanks, Miss Olivia. I think I know what to do. Yes, this one. <laughs> Hello? Hello? It works! Kiki, this is yours. Uh, Vic, please tell us, why is this? <laughs> In this class, I will teach you how to play telephone. What's a play telephone? A play telephone is like Ernie Joe's big ear, so you can hear your friends, even if you're in different places. Look, my big ear! Wow, awesome! Hey, Vic, please teach us. I can't wait. Okay, first, we put the cotton thread through the bamboo cup. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then, at this end, we tie on a little stick. Hmm. We do this so the thread connects to the cup. <laughs> Just like this. Easy peasy. Uh -huh. But how can we talk to people with it? Huh? Well, you'll soon find out. <laughs> huh? Kiki, I'll take this cup into the cave. You put the other cup next to your ear and listen. And then see if you can hear me talking. I almost forgot. Make sure you pull the string tight. Huh? Uh, I don't hear anything. Oh. Three blind uh -huh. mice. Three uh -huh. blind mice. Huh? Three I can't believe I can really hear them. <laughs> <Help me run. laughs> Vic, cool, Vic. This play telephone is really fun. But wait a sec. How exactly does this phone thing work? Well, the sound travels along the thread and makes vibration. Mm. That vibration goes into our ear as sound. Now I understand. Hey, Vic, you are yeah. super smart. Yeah, you really are. <laughs> Let's try out this play telephone. Yeah. Let's, Let's go. go. Miss Olivia. Well done, Vic. You make a great teacher. <laughs> Next time, I'll make sure I'm more prepared. Then I can teach my classmates even more things. <laughs> 
Hi there, friends. If you got to be a teacher, what would you teach? Did you like the play telephone that Vic taught us to make? Maybe you can give it a go and make one. Bye-bye. A whole new world. It's just another ordinary day in Pine Tree Mountain. Stop right there! Stop! <laughs> hey, give that back! <laughs> That's my axe! <laughs> Get back here! <sighs> Stop running! Huh? Hey! Gimme! You stole my axe from me! Give it back! You know what they say, finders keepers. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Wait! <laughs> Come back here! <laughs> Come and get it! Stop. Catch me if you can! <laughs> <laughs> I got my axe back! Uh. Just here. Mm. My dad made that axe. Huh? Huh? I'll just follow the footprints. Just away. <sighs> Getting closer. in here. That tree is huge! Huh? What is that? <gasps> wow! Oh my! <laughs> It's mine! 
Fluffy wall. Huh? Ah! Hello there. What's your name? Monster! Huh? Where? Huh? Huh? You. Me. You, uh... <laughs> oh, don't worry. There's nothing to fear. Hmm. Don't be afraid, my new friend. We're all in this together. Always know we'll be here. We're birds of a feather. <laughs> there now, that's better. Can you tell me your name? Oh, my name's Vic. Well, hello there. Children, come on over here and meet your new classmate, Vic. Huh? I'm Bramble. I want a hug, too. <laughs> <laughs> Huh? I want to hug huh? too. I'm Briar. I'm Laurel. Laurel. I'm Prince Kiki. I am Babu. <laughs> I want to hug Miss oh, Olivia. I want to hug. Too. <laughs> hug, <laughs> hug, <laughs> hug. <laughs> Why don't you go play, Vic? Okay. Ah, this park is beautiful. Hey, guys, come have a look at this. Oh, wow, wow, where is it? Look, let me see. Oh, guys, wow, oh, it's cool. Oh, <laughs> hey, guys. It's beautiful. I have a model car. Do you want to play? Uh -huh. What is a model car? Ah, oh, let me uh -huh. have a look. Huh? Huh? It's a car. Huh? <laughs> hey, guys, forget the car. Let's go grass skating. Can I see the car? Uh -huh. I want to play. <laughs> Boring old car. I'll grass skate by myself. Do you know that a car can go really fast? Mm -hmm. uh, oh. Is that true? It can run even faster than me. Oh, much faster. Zoom, zoom. Blink your eyes and you're already there. Whoa. Can a car go all the way to the moon? Yeah, yeah it can. Yeah, yeah. Of course it can. Wow. Briar, <laughs> this car is cool. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Who wants oh, to play with the car? I want to play. Go. I want to play. Oh, play. Oh, play. Oh, play. <laughs> What's so great about a car? <laughs> Your car is amazing. <laughs> oh. Play for me. <laughs> Briar, why don't you go play with the other? I want to try. They don't want to play grass skating with me. I see. <laughs> then why don't you go play car with them? Briar, go give it a try. Maybe the car is as fun as grass skating. Get out there, you. <laughs> it's not a little Briar, don't you want to come play with us? Huh? <laughs> Briar, don't play alone. I'm coming, I'm coming. <laughs> Guys. Did you know that the car is actually so much bigger than this toy? Uh, so which is faster, my grass skate or your car? Mm. Good question. How about let's race him and find out? You're on. <laughs> Ready? Go! <laughs> let's go, let's go! <laughs> Wahoo! <laughs> We're here! Mm. Guys, today was so fun! This tree hole is our little secret. We can never tell anyone about it. Okay, let's pinky promise. We, we promise, promise to keep this secret forever! forever. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Vic, here's your hat. Thanks, Bramble. See you soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> I'll be back. I promise. Bye. Bye, Bye Vic. Why, hello there. I'm 
sure you met lots of new friends in kindergarten. <laughs> Tell your mommy and daddy about them. See you soon. Bye. Substitute teacher. Let's see what's in store for our cubs on this sunny day in Pine Tree Mountain. Dear students, Coach Mac and I will be away today, so you won't have classes like you normally do. Yeah. Briar, who do you think will teach us? Miss Olivia, who will give us lessons today while you're gone? Uh, so should we just study by ourselves? Huh? Huh? I don't want to learn all by myself. Hmm. It's all right. Don't worry, kids. We found you a great substitute teacher. He has two great big long horns and a long white beard. Oh, I know. Hmm? It's old Billy. Am I right? <laughs> Briar is correct. Old Billy? Hmm. Old Billy is actually quite knowledgeable. Sometimes when we have questions, we will go ask him. Please listen to old Billy while I'm gone. Be good, all right? We'll be good. <laughs> Good. I will be back as soon as possible. Goodbye, class. Goodbye, Goodbye Hey, gather around, guys. <laughs> so, what do you think old Billy will teach us today? Um, hmm. I think huh? old Billy's going to be really strict. Last time, I was late for class. He yelled at me. Huh? huh? I don't think he's that kind of grown-up. He smiles all the time. I bet he brings us all a tasty treat. Huh. Old Billy sleeps a lot. If you ask me, I bet he'll teach us how to sleep in today's class. Huh? This is great. I've been told I'm very good at sleeping. <laughs> Bramble, anything else you're good at? Dreaming. <laughs> <laughs> huh? huh? Uh-oh, he's here. Your substitute teacher. Hey, old Billy! <laughs> Are you gonna teach us how to sleep? <laughs> <laughs> of course not. Today I will teach you something interesting. Hmm? What's that then? Huh? Hey, oops. <laughs> Nature science. Huh? What is this? <laughs> Oh, he's got the book upside down. <laughs> now let's see. Today we're going to learn... Um, what do we have here? The, uh... Hmm. We're going to learn about flowers. First, let's learn about peach blossoms. Had one of them in my yard as a kid. They bloom between March and April. Next, let's learn about uh, uh, pear blossoms. One of my personal favorite trees. Uh, the season for pear blossoms is between March and May. Mm, now try to remember that. Thing about pear blossoms is it's a finicky tree, so you can't just plant a... Uh, huh? Briar, uh, dropped your pencil. Uh, huh? <laughs> All right, kids, follow me. We're going to the front gate. Huh? 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 Wait, what? Briar, what's at the front gate? Uh, I have no idea. Let's find out. Huh? Okay, kids, roll up the grass mat you left drying here. Okay. 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 I'm tired. Old Billy, why do we need to roll up the grass mats? Because it's going to rain soon. It is? <laughs> That's nonsense.
sense. It's a beautiful day. <laughs> hey, kids, over here. <laughs> Look very closely at these ants. <laughs> Look. Ah! <laughs> Where? <laughs> Where are they going? They're in such a hurry. Wouldn't you want to move if your house was about to get flooded? Uh -huh. Huh? And look at the swallows over there. <sighs> Their tummy's almost touching the ground. Huh? I thought swallows flew high in the sky. So strange. It's the umbrella. Why, old Billy? It'll rain any moment. Huh? It, it can't be. I can't believe it's raining. Oh, Billy was right. Uh, it's raining. Uh, it's raining. Uh, it's uh, raining. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but, oh, Billy, how did you know it would rain like that? Tell us. The swallows and the little ants told me so. Uh -huh. Huh? But I didn't hear the ants say anything just now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> The ants told me with their actions. Their actions? What actions? Is it because they're moving out? Huh? That's right. The rain will easily flood their hole. So when it's about to rain, they will move to somewhere higher. You see? So wow. Wow. The little ants are a miser. The swallows fly low because it's going to rain. The swallows need to move their homes too. <laughs> Well, as for those swallows, oh, why don't I let them tell you about it? Huh? Hi, Hi there, swallow. <laughs> hey, swallow, why'd y'all fly so low to the ground like that? We fly low to catch the insects. Before it rains, the air becomes filled with small water droplets. When the wings of insects collect those water droplets, they become heavier. The insects won't be able to fly very high, and so we fly low to catch them. And so when you see the swallows flying low, means it's gonna rain soon. Oh. Ah. oh, Billy sure knows a lot about the world. Great! After learning all this, we'll be able to predict the weather. Hmm. Nature has secrets, don't you know? As long as you have an observant eye, you'll find them. <laughs> Sun's out! Thank you for letting me stay under your umbrella. Bye! <laughs> White clouds drift in the sky after rain, and a colorful bridge reaches the ground. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet in a rainbow can be found. <laughs> there! Right then, who knows what I drew on the blackboard? Oh, I know! I know. Kiki, tell me your answer. Yeah, go on, tell him. <laughs> the ants are moving to high ground, which means it's about to rain, right? Prince Tiki, you're so clever. <laughs> hmm, now for my next drawing. Huh? Mm -hmm. uh... Oh, Billy, I know. The swallows are flying low, which also means it's about to rain. Mm -hmm. Right. Good job, Briar. <laughs> Do you guys remember the rhyme about the rainbow? White clouds drift in the sky after rain. And the colorful bridge reaches the ground. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue. Uh, it's my turn. Uh -oh. uh, in a rainbow. Uh, uh, can be found. Hmm. You're doing great, kiddos. <laughs> Children. Huh? Huh? Children. I'm back. Oh, oh yeah. 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 <laughs> Children, did you have a happy day today? Yeah. We yeah. Sure did. Now, what did you learn in class with Old Billy today? Could anyone please tell me? Old Billy showed us how to tell when it's gonna rain. Uh, hmm. And and we learned a rhyme about rainbows. <laughs> Bramble, what about you? What did you learn? Uh, I learned. I learned. Uh, oh, Billy, can you teach us something new? They already told Miss Olivia what we learned. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Bramble. We'll teach you some more interesting things next time. <laughs>
<laughs> Have you ever had a substitute teacher? Different teachers can teach us different things. And don't forget to listen well. Okay, bye! It's a small world! What's in store for the Cubs today at Pine Tree Kindergarten? can make you sick. Do not eat it. Mm, we we sure, sure won't. Miss Olivia, we're curious about how the apple grows hair. <laughs> how do you think it grows hair? It's a good question. I've huh? got it. The apple might think that, ooh, it's cold. So it grew some hair to stay warm. Am I right? Uh, maybe. It grows hair to avoid being eaten. The hair is its armor. Right. That's gotta be it. The hair is for keeping warm. Gramble, I have a suggestion. Why don't you two do an experiment to see when the apple will grow hair and under which conditions? Huh? Okay. <laughs> 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 Bramble, shall we begin? Mm. Is the apple ready? It's ready. Good. Huh? But where should we put it, Pam Vic? Herbie, Whoa. let's play hide and seek. <laughs> Under the sun. <laughs> okay. You know, where would be great? Put it here. Forever? Bramble, wait. <gasps> <laughs> Huh? Perfect! And you're the set? Oh, Ramble, let's go! Huh? Big hang on! Don't we need to watch you the whole time? No, we don't have to. We'll check it twice a day, and that'll be enough! Big Bram! <laughs> what are you guys talking about? Ooh, an apple! No, no, touch it! <laughs> the apple is an experiment! Do not eat it! Fine, promise I won't. Okay, Herbie, time to have fun! Yeah. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> hey, Bramble, mm -hmm. want to play some games? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Vic, huh? why is it all shriveled? Maybe because it's too hot. Huh? It's too hot. <gasps> I see. In the sun, it didn't grow hair because it uh -huh. didn't feel cold. <laughs> you know what, Bramble? 
I think you're right. <laughs> Let's try it one more time. Ooh. Come on. Last time, I hid my apple inside this desk. Hmm? You sure it will work? I'm not so sure. Let's give it a shot. <laughs> huh? Ah, something's rotten. What's that smell? What's the huh? Look at that. It's a rotten apple. <laughs> <laughs> Who left this rotten <laughs> apple here? Tiki! Tiki, that oh. apple is an experiment. Don't touch it. It stinks. I can't take it anymore. Huh? What's Tiki? <laughs> Got ya! <laughs> oh, you smell so bad. Go wash your hands. Bravo! Get another apple! I'll be right back! Uh, what's that smell? Hmm? Why doesn't this one have hair? Maybe we forgot something. <laughs> <laughs> That's gotta be it! Bramble! I know what we're missing! Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, ah. Big no! It's for ah. the experiment! I know! I know! I'm doing it for the experiment! Huh? Ah. Bramble! Give it a bite! Oh, okay! <laughs> oh. Mm. Here! Right then! This time it's gonna work! Bramble! Hurry up! <laughs> I'm coming! Look! The hair is growing! Wow! Let's look! Hey! Wait! I brought my magnifying glass! Huh? Perfect! I can't wait! Wow! Look at that! They're like little small trees! It's amazing! It's like a little forest! Huh. Yeah! yeah! We, we did finally it. did it! We, we made, made an, an apple, apple grow hair! hair. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go tell Miss Olivia the good news! <laughs> Careful with that apple, Bramble! <laughs> Miss Olivia! Miss Olivia! <laughs> That's what we did! Here, look! Oh. <laughs> Please huh? tell me what you have observed from your experiment. About the first apple, we put it under the sun. It didn't grow hair. Yeah, that's right. And the second apple got rotten inside the desk and smelled so bad. But still no hair. What else? The apple with hair on it was bitten by us. We put it inside the desk, too. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Through this experiment, we learned what happened to the <laughs> apple. Huh? But have you ever thought that on the apple... There was something too small to be seen creating the hair? Something we can't see? What could that even be? I don't know. Maybe some tiny people or animals. Huh? <laughs> These tiny things are called fungi. Fungi? fungi? Miss Olivia, what's fungi? Yeah, Miss Olivia. I'm a pretty fungi. Don't you think so? <laughs> Fungi are a kind of small organism. Fungus is so small that we can't see it with our own eyes. But if you put the apple under a microscope, then we can see it clearly. Fungi are everywhere. But once they start to reproduce, then they can spread and grow very quickly. Altogether, they look fuzzy, like hair. Oh! But then why is this the only apple that became fuzzy? <laughs> That's because the skin of the apple is a kind of protection. Once you remove the skin of the apple, then there's nothing to stop the fungus. Oh! Uh, so what are those spot things? Actually, there are many kinds of fungi. They even have different names. Mold, mildew, mushrooms. Fungi grow in warm and moist places. As they start to grow on an apple, we can see them, and they turn into colored spots. Then the apple becomes rotten. Wow! Uh-huh! What a magical <laughs> little world we can't see! It's all around! Vic? Huh? Next time, if you can't finish your apple, I can help! 
Please don't let the manga eat you. <laughs> Hi everyone! Do you know there is a world that we can't see? Amazing, right? Why don't you go tell your parents? See you! Bye bye!